So I'm going to give you a walkthrough of the ASAR algorithm specifically to kind of give you a, a good idea of sort of what to expect when you're asked to do this. You may be uh, in 411, but since this is YouTube, you may be uh, in some other class. And so you may have to demonstrate a star. Uh, and so, well, I'm going to walk through it because that way you get a, a sense of like how much you got to practice. And if you're thinking about this from like a testing perspective or, you know, uh, how much time you need to kind of prepare for. So I've already drawn out a, a little bit of my starting kind of point. Uh, I want to go from Memphis to Seattle. Uh, so we're working off of those same numbers. I encourage you uh, either pause the video, work it out, and check on literally just skip over the video and then check my solution. Or uh, you are more than welcome to uh, you know mute me, turn on lo-fi beats, and work through it or listen to me ramble on the entire time as I sort of try and explain it in one go, one take with no mistakes. <sighs> Anyways, so what I like to do is I like to draw this sort of four column uh, grid with a G, H, and F sort of in this kind of position. Um, that sort of is my way of processing this as I sort of go through it. Um, again, since we're dealing with sort of Memphis as my starting point, it's the first thing in the queue. We don't really consider that uh, uh, a step. We, we just sort of acknowledge that we have to do it. Um, but it gets removed out of the queue, and we have to look at one, two, three possible routes. So I'm going to just work off of out of or out of alphabetical order or whatever I see, uh, you know, first, um, it again, doesn't really matter. Uh, but we see that it's Atlanta to Charlotte or Dallas Fort Worth. Each one of those again has their own step to them. So one of the things I like to do this again, just helps me sort of, uh, make sure I'm reading everything correctly. Uh, as an instructor, it's kind of important. I get things right. Um, so that's the worst 384 you've ever seen. Uh, six, six, one, nine, uh, and then four, five, two. All right. Well, again, I'm working through these uh, as I go. This is actually one of the reasons why I sort of have things written out. And you'll see in a second one of the little tricks I do. So we've got in, we've added all of these different pathways. I do like to include where I came from, but I, I just sort of don't have the space for it. Um, but again, let's see. So 384, uh, Charlotte. Oh, my goodness. That is the worst uh, let's see, 619, Rey Mysterio would be highly disappointed in me, 619, and then Dallas-Fort Worth was 452, 4, okay, well, again, so that's our G, that's just how many, how much would it take to make this step, but H is asking us, how much further do we have to go, so we look at Atlanta, it's two six three seven uh let's see charlotte is two seven nine four there we are and then dallas fort worth is two one zero nine now one thing in particular that uh i i will go ahead and say have a calculator ready uh none of us are good at math just <laughs> have a calculator. If you have to do this by hand, your instructor's a cruel, vindictive person who... I'm not going to keep talking bad about your instructor. Either way, I plugged in for Atlanta. Okay, it is uh, 3,021. 3, then we're going to do 619 plus 2795. That's 3414. So 3414. And then finally, Dallas Fort Worth, 2561. So 2561. So, you know, in my uh, uh, slides, I, oh, magic, you know, did stuff in uh, my, one, you know, the high, the cheapest one moved to the top. I don't really have that luxury when I'm writing it out. And that's sort of why I'm sort of walking through it in this sense, because I've written some out and clearly I've got to, you know, make a decision. Well, 
what I like to do is, again, I sort of do my comparison. I do my eyeball. I see that uh, Dallas-Fort Worth is sort of the cheapest, and I like to label it like this. So add a one uh, because it's the first thing that gets removed from the priority queue. Yes, technically Memphis was the first, but nobody cares about that one. So again, Dallas-Fort Worth was the first thing that got removed. It's the first thing that gets considered. Dallas-Fort Worth only has one step, which you know saves me a lot of uh, heartache. But uh, from there, we can go to Denver. All right, well, Denver was, uh, s let's see. So it's going to be $7.95. And as we build that out on this end, so Denver... That's going to be, let's see. So this is, again, why I sort of like to add in the calcs along the way. So I because that's going to be, uh, I'm going to skip over that actually for right now. So just do the 1317. Handy dandy calculator. I see that, again, I've got to get to Denver. I had to first go from Memphis to Dallas-Fort Worth. So 452 plus... 795 Dallas Fort Worth to uh, Denver. That's going to make its G 12474. So 12, 12, not 74, 47. All right, well, I got to take that 1247 plus that 1317, and that's 2564. So 2564. All right, we're off to a good start. We see that uh, Denver. Uh, from Dallas Fort Worth is the next cheapest. So again, this is how I like to operate it. Again, this allows me to not have to worry about erasing uh, things uh, you know on that list the entire time. I can just sort of uh, work through the algorithm a little little faster. Um, I do have to scroll a little bit down. so <clears throat> let's see. So from Denver, Denver has only one pathway as well to ORD. And this is where we're going to get some headaches and heartbreaks. Uh, so that is 1662. Again, that's ORD. ORD's path is 2043. And to calculate out the path cost, the G of going from Memphis to ORD, that's 452 plus 795 plus 1662. Uh, 2,909, 2,909, let me make that nine a little bit better, then I'm going to walk through that, so that's 2,909 plus 2,043, uh, 4,952, 4,000, 4, uh, let me, 4,000, 4,952, so this is, you know, some of the heartaches that you may run into when you're sort of working through a star is that, you know, uh, you know oh, this, I think I'm more than likely sure that this is the pathway, uh, but I have to do considerations beforehand. I still have to see what's the next thing in the queue. Well, it is going to be Atlanta. Atlanta has to be considered first. So we have to expand out Atlanta. And yes, Atlanta has one, two, three, four routes that have to get mathed out. Yes, welcome to it. That That's, that, welcome to it. So you draw them out. Now try and leave some room for Charlotte just in case we gotta go there. Uh, let's see. So Atlanta can go to MCI. Uh, Atlanta can go to CLT. Uh, Atlanta can go to RDU. And it can go to Orlando. You can see I'm already abandoning that order, uh, trying to keep things in alphabetical order here. Um, that's, again, uh, as you start reading these graphs, it gets a little harder to do it in alphabetical order. Um, but either way, uh, so we add in MCI. This is, again, why I like to include uh, where I came from, uh, because as you can sort of see, these are, we may start repeating ourselves, if you will. RDU, O R. Lando, 
And let me uh, drop that line down a little bit. All right, well, again, we've got to do the same song and dance. So MCI, that was $7.99. Uh, to Charlotte is $2.44. Uh, RDU, four. That's not a four. That's a four oh seven. And then Orlando, four. Four thirty-eight. Oh, that was there we go okay so we again walk through it aka pull out the calculator and start working through that math so uh the first one is again well before i do that one i'm gonna drop out the h's that's just gonna save me some heartaches uh let's see so mci mci is 1837 there's your seven uh clt 2795 uh, RDU, where are you? Uh, 2844. And then uh, Orlando, 3074. Okay, so again, we bust out the calculator and we start doing math. So let's see. Uh, that's 384 plus 799. Uh, 1183. 1183. I'm going to go ahead and do the math on that one. So 1837, uh, 3020, 3020. Let me make sure to make that a zero so I don't accidentally screw up later on. Uh, so now we're doing CLT 384 plus 244, 628, 628 plus 27.95. Uh, 3423, 3423, RDU, RDU is 791, 791, plus 24, 284, 3635, 836, 822, plus 3074, uh, 3896, 3896. Okay, so again, we go through the same process again. We're looking at it. Uh, MCI, so Atlanta uh, to uh, Kansas City is our next consideration. There's our four. So we expand out. Uh, there are two possible routes from Kansas City. So boom, we can go to uh, Salt Lake City or what was the other one? Uh, St. Louis. St. Louis is 248 and then that's 1089. Okay, well guess what? You add them in. So Salt Lake City, St. Louis. Uh, let's see, so uh, again, I'll do the pathways. So from St. Louis, well, Salt Lake City, 840. And then St. Louis, 2083. Okay, so Salt Lake City, uh, again, busting out the calculator. Let's do the maths. Uh, I'm going to chum it up just a little bit so I can see everything at once. 384 plus 799 plus 1089, 2272, uh, 2272, uh, plus 840, 31, 12, 12. St. Louis, St. Louis was 384 plus 799 plus 240, 248, 1431, 1431, plus 2083, 3514. 3514. Okay, well, again, we look at which one is our cheapest route. Uh, so if we're digging through here, uh, let me actually cross out Kansas City. So 
If we look, we see that the cheapest next route is Salt Lake City. So we go through that process. We see that it has two pathways from ORD and uh, Salt Lake. So again, we expand those out. So Salt Lake City can go to ORD or the Promised Land, our goal, Seattle. Uh, what were the paths for that? Uh, let's see, 1415 and 840. So 840 and 1415. And let me add that little circle so we get that going on there. Uh, I am just going to do it down here. So F H G. Uh, so let's see, O R D to Seattle. Uh, let's see, the H's for those, I, I remember uh, to get to Seattle, it's going to be a zero, right? Because, you know, how much further do I have to go from Seattle to Seattle? Nothing. Um, ORD, this is actually, so this is one of the reasons why I like, again, to include where this came from, because that ORD is not the same as this ORD that we have from uh, Denver, right? That's from Denver, but we also have the one from Salt Lake City. Uh, either way, uh, I digress. Uh, let's see, ORD again is 24 or 20, 43. We bust out the calculator. Uh, I'm gonna move you over here. Let's see, so we've got uh, 384 plus 799 plus 10, 89 plus, which one am I doing first? 14, 15, 36, 87. Oh, right, 36, 87, 36, 87 plus 20, 43, 5,730. 5,730. And then to Seattle from Salt, uh, from Seattle, it's 3. 48, 799, 1089 plus 840, 3,112, 3,112, 3,112. Okay, so I look at my scores again, and I have to cross Salt Lake out because it's there. And I'm going to make a strong assumption here that, oh, what do you know? Uh, Seattle from Salt Lake City is the sixth thing removed from our queue. We found our pathway. And so again, it would be Seattle from Salt Lake City, from Kansas City to Atlanta to Memphis. But this is sort of the kind of, you've got to do this. You have to consider these. Right? Oh, you know, we thought that going Dallas Fort Worth to Denver to O'Hare, uh, you know, Chicago would have been the cheaper way because that was where we started. But as we sort of continued down, that Denver to uh, Char uh, Chicago pathway, right, that's just too big of a step in the opposite direction, even though it's the only pathway and it was the first ones we were doing. It's not good enough. So even though oh, we considered this route, it actually turned out, hey, maybe if we take a little bit of a step back, we can reach our goal. So uh, hopefully that gave you a walkthrough. Uh, compare your answers to mine. Uh, see if I did anything wrong. Leave a comment in the comments down below if I did. Give it a thumbs down and never share this uh, Either way, uh, again, I hopefully this was a star uh, walkthrough for you.